Hi Lucy, so just a quick intro to some grounding practices. Uh, so the first one, sitting cross-legged or you can sit on your knees and have your hands on your thighs. But if you're cross-legged, grabbing your shins, inhaling the chest forward and back, exhaling, pushing the navel back. So the breath is nice and strong. And what you'll find as you do this, you're not having the head go all over the place, the head is steady, and you're moving and stimulating, balancing your root chakra. So that's why it's grounding, because you're actually allowing the weight of the body to sink down. You're allowing yourself to bring movement right to the tip of the tailbone and down into your root. So have your attention at your root as you do it. The next one, you slide your hands onto your knees. And you're inhaling the chest forward, exhaling back. And then spiraling in, so the circles get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. You can go slower than I'm going. And then when you reach that point of balance and stillness at the centre, you pause and breathe, and then you spiral out in the opposite direction. So obviously this is a bit of a, a uh, speedy intro, but you can really take your time. And then if you bring your hands out in front of you, backs of the hands together, right hand over left and then clasp the fingers and then bringing the fingers in through and up and pushing the hands against the chest and then closing the eyes and breathing all the way down into your belly if you get a, can get a sense of breathing all the way down into your hips and breathing all the way down And this is very balancing and grounding. So you can hold that for anything from 3 to 30 minutes, but it's a very good way of balancing the mind, balancing the emotions, balancing the body. And then there's a point here on your top lip, sort of midway between the bottom of the nose and the top of the lip, just here. And it's called the first aid point. And if you're feeling dizzy or shaky, if you're feeling overwhelmed by emotions or an experience, you can push or tap on this point and breathe nice and steady. And that again will help the body to come into balance, the mind and the emotions. And as well as tapping, you can have your tongue at the back of the teeth, so that's like the other side of the point, it's a pressure point. Okay. Um, I thought you might be interested in some protection mudras. I use three of these regularly, sometimes daily. So the first one, you have your thumbs in your palms and then make fists. The right fist goes over to the left shoulder and then the left fist over and this is protection of the heart and then you breathe so these these three are martial arts mudras and what i found is as i've used them like initially i just went through the motions and then as i used them more i began to feel energetically how they were working so in this one i feel i'm able to be open-hearted in my teaching but i'm protected so you hold that, breathe, and then release when you're ready. Next one, the palms are straight up, and there's an angle at the wrist. The right hand goes over to the left shoulder, the left hand over to the right shoulder. And this one is about deflecting negative thoughts, judgments, accusations, anything that might be coming your way to try and undermine you or in some way hurt you. This one I find really, really powerful. So 
I imagine and feel a force field of energy around me as I do it, a kind of eight. And breathing long and steady. And then finally, clasping the hands, but the other way, so the fingers go in like that. We make a, a fist, which is sort of feels a bit clumsy, and then bring that into the solar plexus, which is that area just below the ribs, and pull it in. And this is to protect ourselves from our own negative thinking, limited beliefs, our own judgments of ourselves, our own shame. So to release us from those old patterns that most of us have. So again, when you find the position, relaxing into it, breathing. And in these, it's just having the intention and doing the practice. And, you know, sometimes we feel something, sometimes we don't. But we just go through the practice knowing it does make a difference. And then um, a squat, a low squat crow, we call it in Kundalini, with the arms outstretched. So this, again, is very grounding, brings the energy down, and you want to feel as if you've got a, a heavy tail, like your bum is kind of sinking downwards, so you're releasing the lower back. And this is opening up between the shoulder blades. Breathing long and deep, and feeling rooted down into your feet. And finally, walking on your heels. So that is a quick way of grounding the energy in the body. So if you are feeling faint, if I'm feeling like I've done a particularly intense meditation or Kriya or a bit out there, then I'll walk around the flat for a while on my heels. So I wish you all the best in your practice and trust that you'll know what's for you and what's not. And I look forward to seeing you and talking more on my return.